We're here with Hunter Hus head coach Jamar McCoy. Coach, second day of practice coming back off of one of your most successful years, 10 and 4 a year ago. First conference title since uh, 1996. Uh, how's it looking so far as you get back out here? Kind of feel good? Yeah, kind of feel good to uh, get back in the mix and get back in the groove of things. Uh, it's, it's been a pretty long summer for us. Uh, we've, we've had about 67 on seven games, several joint practices with uh, big 4A schools out of Charlotte Mech, uh, a few out of uh, South Carolina. So it's, it's been a pretty rewarding summer. Uh, we, we have a lot of good talent that's returning, and we look to be very competitive this fall. As we look at what is returning, let's go to offense first. Uh, what kind of offense are we going to see from the Huskies this year, and who are some of the key returning players for you on the line and at the skill positions? Um, you, you're going to see some of the same things you've seen in the past years uh, from Hunter Huss. Uh, we, we have several key players returning uh, at the quarterback position. you got Zoe Wallace and Crawford Chandler returning. Uh, at the receiver position, you got Tony Davis uh, returning out there. And on the, on the line, you got Nick Wiggins, Isaiah Brown, and Cole Jenkins returning, um, who, who look to be uh, and play a vital role in our success this fall on the offensive side of the ball. And they've looked the part this summer. They, they've done very, very well this summer. I'm extremely proud of the progress they've made from last year's playbook into this year's playbook. Uh, we simplified some things and, and made some other things a little more complex, and they picked right up with it, ran with it, and uh, they're, they're doing pretty good. I'm proud of them. Now, on the defensive side, I know you lose the big guy, Devin Orell, who takes his talents to North Carolina A&T, but you've got some pretty good uh, players returning on that defensive side of the ball. What kind of scheme will we see, and who are some of those players? Um, you'll see the same scheme we had last year, uh, same base defense. Uh, you, you got um, Chase Nixon. Tony Davis, Tez Price, Marcus Mooney, Prince Bima, Chase Williamson. Uh, th these are all the stalwarts of the defense. You have some, I see some Isaiah Brown down on the D line. Uh, and, and these guys are straight up ball players on the defense side of the ball. They're ball hawks. Uh, every time you turn around, they got a nose on the ball. And we're, we're excited to see what our defense can do this fall and, and where they're ranked among the rest of the uh, defenses around the state. Coach, we always kid high school coaches about the kicking game, punting and place kicking. Sometimes could be an Achilles heel for a high school coach. What does your kicking game look like from the punting and kicking position? Um, our, our kicking game is going to be pretty solid. We have um, a returner and um, w w with our kicker who, who kicked for the first time, kicked footballs for the first time last year, and he'll be back this year. Great soccer player. Uh, and I think an even better uh, place kicker and field goal kicker for us. So uh, we're excited um, that, that, that Trent is with us and he's kicking balls. This year, a new re league re realignment with the state redoing everything. Kings Mountain Crest along with the traditionals, Forest View and Ashbrook. What are your thoughts on the realignment? Um, the, the realignment um, it is a good thing and, and – uh, I, I think it, it put more competition into our league. Um, at the same time, uh, I feel as though Gaston County should have uh, one big 3A conference, but, you know, that, that's going to boil down with, with politics and the school board doing some realignment within the county uh, because, you know, some of those teams like East Gaston and South Point that dropped down to 2A, they got a long way to travel. And those were great ball games for us, East Gaston and South Point. Um, it'll always be a rivalry there because it's it's an in-county matchup. But bringing in Crest, bringing in Kings Mountain, and bringing in Burns um, amps up the competition too. Uh, they're our neighbors, and um, they play great football in Cleveland County, as we already know. One of the best football counties in the state of North Carolina, uh, bar none. Uh, so with, with, with bringing them in, it adds another level of depth to, to 